Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Retrieval questions. Number one, what is diction? Number two, why do we use different paces in our speech? Number three, what impact does pause have? Your teacher will pause the video here for you to write down your answers. Remember to write in full sentences. Retrieval question answers. Number one, vocal diction is how you express yourself using enunciation and pronunciation. Number two, different characters of different situations cause for a performer to speak using different speeds. Number three, pause can be used for a number of reasons. Used for dramatic impact, it can show the audience that a character is in disbelief or show that they're surprised. It could show a character is thinking about what they're going to say next. Or it can show that a character is confused. Please write the correct answers on your sheets before sticking your retrieval questions in your books. Your teacher will pause the video here. What and why? What? Today you're going to experiment with your voice using different volumes, projection and tone. Why? To become more aware of how volume, projection and tone changes the meaning of what you are saying in a performance. Volume. This is how loud or quiet your voice is. Varying volume is important to communicate a range of emotions and situations. Anger or excitement might be communicated with a loud volume, while fear could be shown by using a quiet voice. Volume is important in a large theatre. Volume task. In pairs, practice delivering the given dialogue using a low volume to show fear. Then, practice the dialogue using a loud volume to show excitement. Watch how changing the volume changes the meaning of what you're saying. The teacher will pause the video here for you to rehearse your volumes in your pairs. Your teacher will now select some performers. Listen carefully. How does changing the volume change the impact of the piece? How does changing the volume change the meaning of the piece? Are the situations the same? Your teacher will pause the video here for you to perform and respond. Remember, when you were responding, you are speaking in full sentences using the appropriate terminology. Vocal projection. Vocal projection is the strength of speaking or singing whereby the voice is used loudly and clearly. It is a technique used to be heard clearly by an actor in a theatre. Many mighty men making much money in the moonshine. Say this in your normal voice. Now stand up straight, arms by your side, breathe in and out before repeating the line loudly, slowly and clearly out to the audience, making sure that you pronounce each letter in your words. Many mighty men making much money in the moonshine. Deliver your lines to another person, then to a small group and then to the class. Remember to open your mouth to let the words out. Can you hear the difference? Your teacher will pause the video here for you to practice this technique. Remember to breathe in and out before repeating the line loudly, slowly and clearly. Tone. Tone of the voice is its colour or its emotional quality. A mother may speak to an upset young child in a soothing tone of voice. But if the child is misbehaving, the mother might use a stern tone of voice to ensure that she's obeyed. The child recognises what is communicated through the use of tone, as much as the words themselves. When performing a scene, you must identify the emotion of your character at each given moment. You must make sure that your tone of voice matches the character's mood and what you need to communicate about their feelings. Although we each have distinctive ways of speaking, 
we vary vocal tone considerably to make ourselves understood. Task. Practice speaking the line below using the suggested vocal tones and note the difference in intonation and emotion. The line of dialogue. Why did you come here? In a bitter tone. Why did you come here? In an accusatory tone. Why did you come here? In a frightened tone. Why did you come here? In an angry tone. Why did you come here? A curious tone. Why did you come here? And in a surprise tone. <gasps> Why did you come here? Now have a go for yourselves. Your teacher will pause the video here. Now your teacher will select some groups for performance. As a class, you will give feedback thinking about what was successful and what could be improved. Your teacher will pause the video here. Volume, projection and tone. Task. In pairs, create a short scene where you add each of these vocal skills into your dialogue. Choose from the list of conversational topics to help you. One, teenager worries that parents are going to go mad at them for returning home late. Two, teens trying to sort out an argument in the maths classroom. Three, teens planning to prank another friend. Your teacher will pause the video here for you to rehearse. Now that you've had some time to rehearse your piece, you may wish to add a thought track, use an accent, use emphasis by putting special focus on a particular word or phrases in a sentence. You may wish to pair up with another pair to add more characters or scenes. Your teacher will pause the video here for you to continue rehearsing. Your teacher will select groups for performance. As a class, think about what was successful and what could be added, changed or developed. When commenting, think about the use of tone, projection and volume. Your teacher will pause the video here. Plenary. What is the difference between vocal volume and projection? How does changing the tone of your voice change the impact of your performance. Your teacher will pause the video here for you to think about your answers before sharing with the class. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these vocal skills today. Until next time, bye bye.